I'm Tim Davis, DevOps Advocate with M0. And this week, we're talking about a pretty cool tool for anybody that writes their own Terraform from scratch. Today, we're talking about Terraform Docs. This is a tool that will help you generate documentation for code that's already been written. Now, if you're using you know, pre-built modules and things like that from the internet that you found, most likely it's going to be documented already. If you're writing your own Terraform from scratch, you may or may not be documenting along the way. Uh, this tool could save you a lot of effort. Now, with that, you install it using, you know, Go Get or Brew or anything like that. There's also ways that you can install it with Chaco uh, on Windows. So let's take a look at exactly what we can do with this. So I'm actually going to be using the AWS VPC module from the Terraform module registry for this this week. It is, of course, already documented, but I went ahead and nuked the README file so that we could generate our own and see exactly how this works. Now, with the Terraform docs command, there's lots of different outputs that we can do here. YAML, XML, TFRs, Pretty, Markdown, and a few others. So it's actually really cool that it can parse this out to a bunch of different formats for whatever meets your needs the most. So let's go ahead and run this and see exactly what happens. So we've got Terraform docs. We'll go for markdown for the output. We'll do the current directory, and let's output that to a readme.md file and run that. Looks like we're done here. So let's go take a look, and let's do a preview. And this is awesome. We can see that it's got our requirements for what we need, our certain Terraform version and our AWS version. We're using the AWS provider. It's not calling any other modules, otherwise that would be listed here. And for resources, it's going to show us all of the different resource types that we have and then inputs. So it's going to come down. Not only is it going to tell us the input name, it's going to give us a little description, tell us the type, the default value, which is always helpful, and if it's required or not. We're then going to go through, go through. Looks like there's a lot here with this module. And there should be an outputs section as well, which is right here. Perfect. We've got our name and our description, so it's really helpful, and we didn't do anything other than run it against the code that we have. So if you are writing your own code from scratch and you need something to help you generate the documentation, this is an awesome project. Feel free to check them out at terraform-docs.io. Check them out on GitHub. Feel free to give them a star if you like and use the project, and make sure to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel to see what we're playing with next week. Oh, my God.